Are you a beginner struggling to align your finder scope in your new telescope? Don't worry, I'm here to help you. Also, a common problem when you buy your first telescope is the confusion when moving the finder up, down, left and right and watching the objects in the sky in the opposite direction and so on. People often obsessed with that and it doesn't help at all. If your finder scope does a different movement from the one you see in the eyepiece, just train your brain to remember those differences. You will get used to that. A good option for the future though will be upgrading your finder scope. I will address that at the end of this video. Now you are with your telescope at night and imagine that I'm there with you. Don't worry, I got you covered. Now insert a long focal length eyepiece into your focuser. Remember that the higher the number of millimeters you see in the eyepiece means the longer the focal length. So for instance, a 25 millimeters eyepiece has a longer focal length than a 9 mm eyepiece. However, the magnification, it's the opposite and like the finer movements, they can blow your mind. So I want you to forget all of that for now and focus on inserting the 25 mm eyepiece or similar into your focuser. Also remember, I'm still there with you to cover your back. Now that you have inserted your eyepiece into the focuser, look at the sky with me. We can see now how beautiful it is. We are connecting with the sky. Serenity, take a deep breath with me. And identify the brighter stars in the sky. You will notice at least two or three brighter stars. Pick the one you like the most. A brighter one. That one? Okay, now try to point your telescope manually to that star. Yes, I know it's hard, but try it. Look at the eyepiece and try to find that star. It's brighter than the others, so it will be easier to distinguish from them. Imagine a square area and move the telescope slowly in that area. See that bright star? Center it in the focuser. Because of the Earth rotation, the star will drift slowly until it will be out of sight. However, we will have a few seconds until it runs away. It's time to go to your finder scope and try to identify the star. And then, with these two screws here, you will move the focuser until you get the star centered. Remember, this one here at the bottom is a spring that its purpose is to keep the finder fixed. You will use only these two screws. Move them until you have the same bright star centered. Do it quietly, no rush, because even that you take long and lose the star in the eyepiece, there's no problem because you will reset and do it all again. But meanwhile, the finder scope is getting closer to the alignment. After you have the star centered in the finder scope, go again to the eyepiece and recenter the star. It's like starting all over again. Don't get nervous and be positive. Remember one thing, everything that you are doing in these little steps are slowly training your brain and your knowledge on how to manage a telescope. And that will pay off in the near future. And now that you have the bright star centered in the eyepiece, go again to the finder scope and try to recenter it again using the same screws as before. Then come back to the eyepiece. Probably it's already done, but if not, do it again for a third time. Don't worry because you only have to do it once. And if the inverted movements of the finder are bothering you, check this video over here where you have a good finder scope upgrade. 